Hi, I'm Roshan Kanesin, and this is Rinkit Bites. If you're a business owner or thinking about starting your own business, while making money is key, it's also important to protect your business against risks like fire, burglary, or even equipment breakdown. And here's where business insurance comes in. Today, we get on the line with Vicky Rajaratnam, the chairman of Midbar, the Malaysian Insurance and Tuckerful Brokers Association, to learn more about business insurance, its importance, and how we can get it. Any business would need insurance, especially for SMEs, so we have started off manufacturing plants and such. Likewise, even large organizations or corporations, they would require insurance mainly because they have invested large sums of money into starting off these businesses. Insurance basically protects these investments in the sense that uh, in the event there's an incident like fire, flood, assets being uh, damaged or destroyed, then this insurance comes in to help pay for reinstatement of such equipment or uh, building damages. Basically, it depends on the type or nature of business uh, one has gone into. If you ask SME, manufacturing arm, they will look at having a fire insurance, which will take care in the event the building is destroyed due to a fire incident. The other important insurance they may want to take up is the uh, consequential loss or business continuity insurance, which is basically covers the uh, loss of profits during the downtime of the plant until it gets back into full operations. It depends a lot on the type of organization or corporation. It depends on the values of the assets you want to insure. So the cost thing is there's no fixed price as such. In a manufacturing arm, it will depend on how much of their plant and machinery they have in there and what is the total value of that. What is the value of the building they have built for this operation. So we can insure under fire for the building, for the uh, machineries, you know, for their stock that is there for manufacturing purposes. It all depends on the size and value of each organization. One is you can go directly to the insurance companies. Secondly, you can buy to an agent who represents the insurance company and thirdly an independent broker like us who are appointed by the client or the buyer. When a broker is involved they are always fighting for you for the best. That is why some insurance companies don't like brokers because we are always fighting for the client to get them the best deal at the cheapest cost. That's the other thing. Do you have any money or personal finance questions? Well, you can drop them down in the comments below or email us over at ringgit at bfm.my.